Okay you guys, so the first batch of comics have arrived. Really excited to open it. I think it's wishing on a star. Oh my god! This is always like the best feeling ever. I want to look at one. Oh, it's got like the soft cover to it where it feels like really nice. It looks awesome! Oh my gosh, so excited to look through this. It's looking good. I'm so glad that it looks this good. I'm so happy. I can't wait for the other one to arrive so then I can see them side by side, but this is one half of Twin Comic. I love it. And I love this soft touch cover. It has the same soft touch cover that um, Emily is Burning had. And uh, I'm just gonna wait for those new comics to arrive but yeah here it is and oh my god i'm so happy so guys my comics have arrived so i'm just gonna like unbox them for you pasta's very interested obviously because there's plastic she had me ripping plastic off so she had to come in and investigate for sure uh the first batch arrived weirdly wishing on a star arrived first before anything else even though i ordered them all at the same time These are my Emily is Burning comics, which is always nice to see a fresh batch of them. Yay. Um, there's lots there. Very nice. But I'm excited to see the new comics because I haven't seen them before. So, so there it is. It looks really cool. The colours look exactly like I thought they would. Yay. So these two comics go together in a bundle. So I'm gonna make my own little like sleeve for both of them to go together. They are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. But yeah, they are short stories, so it's still cool. So I've restocked. If you guys would like to order a copy of Emily is Burning, here it is. Or if you'd like to order a copy of each of these, there they are. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm gonna start packaging up orders pretty soon sending them off oh my gosh it's gonna be a headache <laughs> but i'm really excited and so happy to share this journey with you guys yeah i don't know what else to say um thanks for everything basically and matches has thank you too so guys i just wanted to give a quick update because i did yeah i packaged them all up so you will see that in this vlog if you want to like continue watching and uh, that's a little preview for you, for you guys, to uh, check these out. I have actually sold out of these now, um, but I've ordered more. So hopefully if you want to grab some, you will be able to. Thanks, Pesto, for putting your butt in there in the future. But yeah, exciting. So I'm working on some Patreon rewards tonight and I've got these really cool handmade scrunchies so I'm just doing like packaging for them and they're going to be sent out in the mega bundle. I'm going to be doing the prints and these scrunchies and some stickers because um, to make up for a couple of months of not sending rewards so it's going to be like a big package for people and I'm hoping that they like these. These are made by my mum and uh, I think they're really cool. They're really like easy on your hair as well so I really like using them too they're very nice and they're made by um, their like Liberty print fabric which is apparently like a really bougie fabric so they feel really silky and soft yay I'm excited Nice. 
Wait, doesn't it? Good morning everyone, so as you can see I have started on my packaging of the comics and I'm really excited to get these shipped out to everybody. Um, <laughs> why? Every time! She's obsessed with the camera. So I'm going to do some packaging up, I've taken the day off work to get this done and I've got the day off tomorrow so I'm going to go and like get the prints ready for the Patreon rewards because I need to catch up with the patrons. I live in a cat war zone, like honestly. I don't think I can get a sentence out without a cat meowing or like playing with something. So you guys are just gonna have to like understand this um, situation. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my prints printed for patrons today and we're doing this mega bundle thing because I'm catching up on the like couple months that I took off and I wanna like reward my patrons for sticking with me. So they're gonna get a scrunchie, a load of prints, some of them are gonna get a comic, um, different stuff basically. And uh, yeah, so if you wanna join my Patreon, it would really mean a lot. I'm kinda currently in a difficult position because I started back at work um, full time in the office and I'm not super pleased about it. Like, I like the work, but being back full time in an office without the opportunity to work from home is really tough now. Um, when we were in lockdown our company was saying like it's going to be the evolution of like working, now we can work from home a couple of days a week and I know that so many companies now are offering remote work and things so it really kind of sucks that we have to do this because I I don't know I got really used to working from home I felt like it was more me I feel like my mental health is suffering a little bit at the fact that I have to be stuck in an office for eight hours a day and I don't know it's just not my thing and I know that people you know have to do that I have to do that but I would prefer not to so if I could make my patron like super not super but if it was enough to like pay my bills, I probably would just be like, okay, I'm doing this now and I don't know. Don't tell them I said that. I'm just not feeling positive about it. I'm feeling a bit like how Gigi's feeling right now. I don't know if you can actually hear him, but it's really annoying me. So I'm just gonna carry on with my positivity, guys. That looked creep that looked really creepy, I'm sorry. Um and carry on packaging everyone's orders. Uh, also, thank you so much if you pre-ordered the comics. Like, I was thinking, ah, oh, I can't do a Kickstarter and pre-ordering a comic like on Etsy is a bit weird and I know, I pro I don't know if I would go for it if, if somebody else is offering that. So I'm really grateful for everyone who did it. Um, you gave me enough funds to be able to print the comics, which is really cool. So now I have a product that I can send out to people and it's amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity and hopefully your enjoyment of what will arrive. Please ignore this. I like got scratched on my nose somehow when I was at the beach. But anyway, I finally completed most of the orders. There's only a few left to do, but I think I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow because I'm pretty burnt out. This took a few hours of packaging and everything, and well that only shows you like how lucky I am that lots of people ordered. And I'm officially sold out of free gritted teeth, so I'm gonna order a few more. If you can see here. I have got lots of um, the slow disappearance of Olivia Newbury because I ordered more of them by accident. 
So I ordered 100 of them and 50 of those. So there's only 11 left, I believe, but I have to package them up and do, you know, the packaging for the actual putting them together as well. So I'm going to order some more of the Wishing on a Star. And uh, I've got a lot of Emily is Burning left, which is cool because I still have stock, basically. I'm really surprised. I didn't realise that it sold out. I didn't realise that 50 people had ordered through Gritted Teeth, the duology. I'm super... I don't know how that passed me by. I don't even... I think because I, I thought I had more than I did, maybe. So when I put it through um, on Etsy, I was like, yeah, I've got loads of these. And then it's like, nope. Well, you did, but then it got sold out. Whoop. It's a good feeling. It really is. It's just uh, exhausting as well, but it's like a good, good tiredness. You know what I mean? Like you feel accomplished. Well, I feel accomplished. So there we go. So I made little miniatures with this Fimo, which was quite fun. It was just something to do for me, like, just for fun. I did film a little bit of it, but yeah, and then I painted them. I'm going to put some resin over the top, I think, and just maybe make magnets out of them. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I made like a little jelly paints thing. Um, this book, um, The Mirror Visitor because I really liked it, I tried to like kind of copy the cover um, and this one's my favourite one, a kind of like a photoshop interface and then it's got, this is glow in the dark which is blowing my mind because I love glow in the dark so all the bits that I didn't paint will glow in the dark hopefully which is kind of cool So today I am finishing off packing up some orders and this cut is destroying me <laughs> and today I'm packing up some Patreon orders and not orders Patreon rewards and I got like some really cool stuff so I basically I took like the past two three months off Patreon and um, people have stuck about anyway so which is really kind of them so I wanted to do like a mega bundle of prints and stuff to make up for that I did three different prints for this month so if you just joined this month um, I'll be doing the Studio Ghibli redraw print for everyone and I want to make some stickers as well so that'll probably be like this month's reward and then for people who have stuck by for the last couple of months I'm gonna be doing like a bunch of different things so I've got some scrunchies that my mum has handmade stop this pesto calm down stop it what's your problem are you gonna calm down now Jeez, what's it like to live with a diva you may ask it's awful <laughs> Um, what are they saying? Okay, so yeah, I did these scrunchies. So my mum made these scrunchies and they are made with like this super nice um, print. I think they're called Liberty Prints. So it's like a really like well-known fabric brand in the UK. So she made these and then I made a little nice little uh, sticker thing. And then also we've got some sweets. I've decided that I wanted to buy everyone like these sweets that are all vegetarian, gluten free, blah, blah, blah. So they're good for like everyone, I think, except for vegans maybe. I'm not sure about that, but I don't know why it wouldn't be good for vegans. And uh, yeah, so I think it will be like a really nice bundle once I get the stickers done. I have made the stickers. I just need to print them out. And I haven't figured out my Greek kites still. I need to like do them properly. It'd be nice to have like stickers from the crew cut, but I still haven't done that. But yeah, once I get like back into the flow of things, especially with full-time work, 
I am going to be good and I'm going to be making sure that I do a print and a sticker like a big sticker every month for all my patrons so I hope that this will be like the last kind of mega bundle even though they're probably quite fun to receive and they are quite fun to make as well I also had a failed attempt I don't know if I'm going to show this footage because um it didn't work out but basically I was like oh, I'm gonna make mini palettes for all my patrons and it's gonna be really easy and cool so what I did was like I got Fimo and I made like little palettes and I baked the first one and it completely burned it was like a massive pile of mess and then this one I like made a little tiny thing and then I painted it with like this porcelain paint that should seal it and I was like wait a second after I did it I was like wait Fimo porcelain is that the same thing no so I don't think that it's come out too well <laughs> um I might still like have a crack at it but I think I think they're not really worth sending to anyone like at all <laughs> They're just rubbish, but I had fun trying, so there we go. I might in the future make like little charms or something if I manage to figure it out, so there we go. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it really, and I'm packaging up more, more um, comics and hopefully going to be, because of Brexit, basically what I have to do is declare each each package online write down what it is write down the weight write down the address then get a number from that write it down so for each thing I have to write all, all this stuff again write it all down for myself take it to the post office and say look I've done this online and then they like process your order there so it is a hefty task and I'm not into it <laughs> it's not the thing that I enjoy about this process I really enjoy making the prints making the comics sending people stuff them receiving it them reading it and telling me if they enjoy it. you know love all that just the process of sending stuff out is like painful also I realized uh, I have been using a lot of plastic in my um, comic like packaging which is something that I am wary of so please don't say in the comments like years because what basically happened is i've had these plastic packaging for years um literally like five four years so i thought i would use them to just bind the two comics together so it made sense and then you know i i had this anyway so i might as well use it i'm not gonna buy them again i want to buy packaging that is like eco-friendly so I'm hoping to find something online. I did get something with no issue. Like they were going to send me some stuff. But I completely was so busy. That I just couldn't do it. So I'm hoping maybe if I reach out again to them. They might be able to help me out. I can make a video on like doing a logo. And then putting it on the paper. If you don't know what no issue is. It's like this company that does really eco-friendly packaging. And prints like your logos on them. It's a little bit pricey. So... I'm not sure but like if they're gonna give me a discount or something then maybe I'll go with them but yeah that's it and uh, I'm just gonna continue packaging Mochi is a g I swear I love these cats but they are like the bane of my existence too hello Moch do you want to say hello to the camera <laughs> she's like hello she does not like being touched she's absolutely insane she sounds we should have called her the gremlin, to be honest with you. And she won't leave Pesto alone. Pesto hates her. Pesto's like, just leave me alone. And she's like, I'm going to bug you. <laughs> no, thank you. So I'm just working on the two stickers now. Um, this is what the stickers are going to be. I'm going to laminate them and then hand cut them all out. But I wanted to see what the unicorn milk would look like on top. Like maybe it would make it more iridescent. And uh, I'm just going to wait for this to dry. But I'm not sure it's working because the paper is like a little bit thin for it. But it's kind of cool. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, I'm wearing a new eyeliner today. I'm even going to buy some new eyeliner. 
ones. I like to save them. So this one works and it's waterproof. And I got it at the dollar store. They come in. super happy with the way that this has turned out so i thought i filmed an outro for this but i haven't here it is um thank you guys for watching if you made it this far then uh, please give me a thumbs up also maybe you would like to check out my patreon seeing as this has been what am i saying this has been what this video has been about i'm definitely going to focus a lot more on my patreon and i was thinking i'm going to do like a specific how to sort of mini comic on how to make comics but exclusive to my patrons so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that but I think that would be something that people would be interested in so it might be quite fun to do uh, yeah anyway that's just my idea you'll probably hear more about that in the next vlog mm, look out for Saturday's video because I think it's gonna be a really fun one and I'll see you next time thanks a lot bye <laughs>